we came specifically uh, to address the concerns of the Gen, Gen Z generation that has been demonstrating across the country, including Meru here where we are. You saw it, it was countrywide, and it was specifically by a particular generation of youth, youth between 18 and 30, that's what I hear. And we feel that this youth should be uh, given an opportunity to hire their grievances to the national government. They should not just be ignored. We came here with one message to request the national government and His Excellency the President to invite them around the table for a discussion, for them to explain what is itching them, what is their problem. But we know very well most of them are graduates who are jobless. Some of them are university students who have no hope of getting employed because even the ones who, are, who have graduated are in the streets. They voted, uh, they voted uh, overwhelmingly for this government through the Asola narrative and they had very high hopes of getting jobs and opportunities from this government. They even thought that perhaps they were going to be part of the government by themselves mm. because they are the ones who actually gave the government the power that they enjoy. But now they find themselves in the streets again hopeless without any, without any expectation of improving their lives. Here they are supposed to pay loans which they incurred while they were students as uh, they were advanced by help. Most of them have FULISA loans. Most of them have uh, uh, um, these Hasola fund loans. Most of them cannot even afford a meal. And yet, they were promised that they will be able to be taken care of by this government. We suspect those are some of the issues which are actually affecting them. So, we came with a request that the government should be able to listen to them. And they should not actually harass them in the streets whenever they meet to demonstrate because demonstration is part of their constitutional rights. They have a right to express themselves mm. in accordance with our constitution. Don't tiangas them. Don't shoot them. Don't lock them up. Don't harass them. Just listen to them. They are the future of this country. We have seen some other countries uh, have uh, political <coughs> problems because of failing to, to listen to a particular class of, uh, of, of people. We want this youth to feel that they are part and parcel of Kenya yes, yes, and they are entitled yes. to hire their grievances to the government that they elected.